like the fact that people think marriage children like there are actually people who are married that do not want to have kids and that's okay hi guys hi guys welcome back to our channel yeah we're back with a brand new video this one's very personal for me right this is this is our story right this is our story that had to do a lot with how we got married but some of the uh, challenges <laughs> the challenges we faced before we got married it, it's a it's a keeper okay what's the topic I mean, I'm sure they've already read the topic, but uh -huh. <laughs> but before I say it, I want you guys to hit that bell below. Um, please subscribe so you can see um, notifications every time we push out a new video. And also, to be honest, it really, 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 really does encourage us to keep going with this. So please do it for us. Okay. Um, okay. And every so, time you subscribe, we're going to dance in the, the know, beginning and always, at the end of the video. <laughs> we're always super pumped. Like when I see those subscribe notifications, I do my little, you know, my little dance. All right, let's get into okay. this. So today we're talking about sickle cell. Sickle cell. Yeah, sickle cell disease, um, especially as uh, how it plays for marriage. Did I say that right? Yeah, so I mean, sickle cell is a topic that affects a lot of, uh, I think, black people, right? Because it's majority something black. that, I guess maybe, well, we can go into the science later, but it's something that affects a lot of majority black people. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, a lot of people base married decisions around it. We almost got to the point where we said we weren't getting married each other because of sickle cell. Yeah. But yeah. So I'll explain it to you, right? If, if both parties have a sickle cell trait, there is a 25% chance of their children, any of their children, each of their children having a sickle cell disease, which is actually a very deadly disease. <laughs> it's actually a very deadly disease. You want to see yeah. like a so, five second spew of what sickle cell very disease quick. is? Sickle cell is literally the red blood cells in the body. They're like a circle. But when there's sickle cell disease, right? They, instead of it being like a circle, it's like a sickle. So it's like a semicircle that is hollow in the center. The problem is that clogs, clogs up the arteries and blood cannot flow well. Now, we both have the trait. We don't have the disease, but we both have the trait. And the problem is like, it's like if you have A and S, and then she has A and S, then there's a chance that a child will be, uh, she can get S from me and S from her and be SS, so one quarter chance. So that's kind of sickle cell in a nutshell. Yeah. How Google, do you like my <laughs> secondary school science? Dr. Shea, if you want more information, just send a message. Actually, drop a comment if you want some more explanation and we can type in something in the comments. Okay, let's but get into this. One thing this. that I actually want to say before we get into it, get into it. <laughs> I want to give a disclaimer, right? In case there's anyone watching this, like you don't really get to watch the entire thing. I don't want you to see the topic or see the intro and be like, oh yeah, Abisal and Shei, sickle cell carriers, got married, let's go get married. Like, uh, don't do that. Like, please don't do that. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's okay. get into it. Let's get so into it. So at what point did we discover that we were both carriers of the sickle cell trait? So I think it was when you, you were telling your dad that you wanted to propose to me and then your dad was like, Sheko needs sickle cell treats and you were like, nah, she's fine. <laughs> and then his dad is a, is a lawyer, like he's very method Methodical. Method dad or whatever he said. <laughs> and he was like, hey, where's the test the proof. results? Yeah, the proof. Like he's very he's a lawyer, so he needs yeah, to see the like, evidence. It's not like he thought we were lying or anything. He's just like, you know, if, if she doesn't have the trace, let me see the proof and then you guys go live happily ever after. And so what happened? We went to do the test. Wait, let me tell let me say what happened. <laughs> I thought I was AA. Like I thought I didn't have the sickle cell trait because my mom all my life told me I was AA. So I was always feeling cool, like those AA gang. I don't know, y'all AA people be. Like, they be really? feeling like, <laughs> they be feeling so cool. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so I always felt like I'm part of the cool AA gang. And then I told Shay, I was like, oh yeah, I'm AA. And then he was like, yeah, let's go do the test. So we went to do the test. But before we got the results of the test, it was supposed to be a test that in like a week or so you get the results. Before we got the results of the test, you know, Shay kind of moved a little too fast and I went down on one knee. Really? And I was like, yeah, I didn't remember will that. Will you marry me, darling, beautiful, <laughs> wonderful lady? And so I proposed, right? She really? accepted. I don't remember that. I'm sorry. See? See? I don't forget things. Anyway, she accepted. And then, you know, we were waiting for the test. I was like, oh, that, by the way, I proposed because she said she's A and this and that and that. Sure. Where's the proof? We did the test. We were waiting for the results. One week, one month, eventually after six weeks. The test came, the results of the test came. And it's like, well, I always knew I was AS. And since I was a kid, they were like, she you my fair AS wale. So she don't marry a lady that is AS because mm -hmm. there's a risk your child will have that. Mm -hmm. And so when we did the test and we got the results and I was like, AS. 
was like, wait, 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 madam, come here. Wait, let's let's have a conversation. You said you were AA. I mean, even though she, even if she was AS, I don't think I would have changed my mind at the beginning. At the beginning, I feel like it may have influenced whether or not we moved forward together. I, I don't think, know. I think so. I don't know. Well, we would never know because because well, you're saying it now because you already know me, right? Like, I mean, when I, when we were dating, that wasn't the first thing I was going to ask you. That oh, are you AS? I'm oh, like, oh, are you single? If I like, was AS, that would have been the first thing that I asked you before I start to get attached. Like, I just didn't know. I was. I thought I was like free any any guy who comes thank god dude thank god <laughs> god has his way of working things out Anyways. so anyway that's how i found out we got the results back i was as i was like nah they lie and so my parents and my family like they love bisola right completely we, 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 you know i went to do a second test because we thought it was we yeah we, we're like nah they lie and that's true we <laughs> said they mix up the second results t- yeah we're like nah they mix up my blood work with someone else i am aa mom said i'm aa so i'm aa <laughs> and then we went to do a second test meanwhile we didn't have insurance we didn't have we were students we were broke we didn't have money to pay no for i was working test. by then though oh you were working yeah. okay fine but i didn't have insurance <laughs> i didn't have insurance to take the test and i remember we went to a doctor lady bless her heart and let her may she continue to rest in peace but we went to her and was like hey can you help us to do this test like we did it first she was like if they said you're as you're probably as i was like no you don't understand it's a matter of life I'm and death <laughs> So anyway, she gave us the, you know, the doctor's orders. We did the test again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then we went to my, <laughs> our parents. We went to his dad. So, um, daddy, uh, what happened was, uh, uh, you see actually, what happened? Yeah. And then mom I, I told my mom, yeah, I was like, mommy, I'm AS. So she was like, ah, no, A, in here now. I was like, no, I'm AS. <laughs> so she went back to dig into our records, found out she mixed up with four siblings. She mixed up my results and my younger sister's results. So apparently, my younger sister, who thought she was AS all her life, voila, is AA. Is AA. <laughs> and I'm AS. So I was like, oh my God. So now, guys, you can imagine how hard. It was to tell my parents that like she's AS because all my life like no joke and and why is this right because they had friends that their their kids were SS and they were always sick they were always having a crisis yeah. they couldn't eat they were in pain and so I finally went to them and said oh by the way I made a mistake she's AS not AA immediately they did all the calculations in their head like. Yeah. Whoa. So if she's AS and you're AS and there's a one quarter chance that the kid will be SS, she this cannot work. Like she it's not possible. What was the thing your mom always said? Kosonombe. Yeah, kosonombe. There's no way there. Kosonombe. So man, it was it was tough because at this point I'd proposed, but even if I didn't propose, we had been together for almost four years it had like, been a minute we were so we were, close we were so to each close. other close. yeah i remember my dad always saying like you guys are too close like you're too close like <laughs> she and i were literally inseparable we did everything together he was my best friend really so it was very very hard yeah um, so what was the process? so it was like how do we break up like because yeah. for me i knew there was no breakup wasn't in the picture it was like really? we'll figure this out yeah but like i cannot break up with you like this is, as she said, my best friend, but the person that just brings me joy. Mm-hmm. And then because of sickness, I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to be with this person. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was tough, though, because at that point, then the question was, what do we do? Yeah. How do we approach this? Because my parents were like, no, this cannot work. They stopped short of saying that you cannot marry her. Well, they kind of said that, but <laughs> <laughs> it was like, this just they cannot work. They kind of said that. <laughs> okay. So what was the next step? What did we do? I went to Google. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Google. Dr. Google. I was like, Dr. Google is 2000 and what? Like there has to be a cure for sickle 2011. cell. 2011. There was no yeah. cure. There's still no cure for sickle cell. Like it's ridiculous. I'm like, okay, I mean, there has to be a way to prevent it. Yeah. We, well, we found there's a cure. With this, the bone marrow bone transplant. Marrow. But really, but it's, it's very like, expensive and, and just, painful. The quality of life of the child before they get to the point of the, the bone marrow transplant is just too much. It's like a lot. Yeah. So the next question was, how do we prevent this? Yeah. So we did our research and we saw, you know, there are ways to prevent this. Like it's called like IVF with PGD testing. So what they do is like they go through an IVF and then, you know, they test the child and see if the child has a uh, single cell or not before, mm. you know, you're pregnant. But even all that just sounded like story, 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 yeah, like a marry, like AS does not marry AS. Like that was a battle. And like it's not even just parents. It's it's also our culture. Because yeah. in a lot of in a lot of churches, 
if you're going to get married, they ask you to bring your certificates to show that you're yeah. both not AS, yeah. right? And because they don't want a scenario where people get married and they're going to be uh, having problems. Now, oh. of course, is it biblical? No, not a bio, not at all. But, but it's, it's like you're them. trying to help yeah. the people, right? Ultimately, still the people's decision. Mm -hmm. But like in a lot of churches, they do that, mm -hmm. and so. What was, was the process like though? Like, I mean, now you're saying, yeah, we found a solution and, and then this and that. Okay. But like, it was, it was like a two year process, right? Man. Like, <laughs> oh God. It was a so, two year process of, are we going to get married? No, we're not. Are we going to? Yeah. Like, so was, I had proposed in 2011, January. And from January 2011 till uh, April 2013, when we fin finally got married. Actually, we didn't even know we were getting married in 2013. But it was like, okay, dad, mom, here's the thing. Here are all the solutions. You can do PGD. You can do this type of testing. You can prevent it, right? But then they're like, well, why do you want to go through all that stress? Like, mm -hmm. there are so many fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, this is the one special fish in the world. Like, this fish can never be replaced. You know, fine, girl. But I, that was my approach. Now, your parents, they were like, what were their... I think what? my parents were more concerned about acceptance from your family and yeah. it's now I'm sort of understanding my parents are very not very but they're somewhat liberal in the way that they you know in the way that they approach things like they want to hear your perspectives like this other what are you thinking what what is your plan to have kids or to have healthy kids and I talk to them I tell them about PGD I tell them about you know like we can do some kind of testing and they're like okay okay but what is his parents what are his parents saying and and I think my mom was genuinely just kind of worried like if his parents are not accepting I don't want you to go into a family where you're going to be miserable so I think that was a bigger thing for them than the actual sickle cell so I was in New York City City. I was working in New York City and then my dad made a trip from Lagos like Nigeria to New York just to convince me that Shay what you're embarking on doesn't make sense let me like, help them he literally understand. traveled 6,000 miles across the world to help me understand and I mean, I was like, oh, daddy, it's great to see you. I completely understand. It wasn't understand, like he but... just took a vacation to America. He came with one hand luggage bag and stayed the weekend, talked to his son, and went back home. Like, if that does not drive home the message that this is a serious deal, like, this is a big deal, I don't know what else. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it, it, and then after that, my mom came for the holidays, and so my sisters also came to New York City to spend time with me, you know, and they came with their, at, the, at that time, they were their boyfriends. One was married and one was uh, engaged, right? And so they all congregated in my little space in, actually it was a shared apartment in, uh, in New York City. And so they all congregated there. And the idea was convince this guy that Mm -hmm. This is too risky, mm -hmm. right? And so one night at 3 a.m., my mom woke up and she was like, Hmm, Shay, hmm, a lot is up for me. We pay, like, Shay, God has told me that oh, wow. this is not a good path to go mm -hmm. on because it's too risky. And I mean, I'm not saying God did not speak to her at all, right? I'm not saying that at all. Mm -hmm. But it's just to show Yo, you how serious. By the time serious. our Nigerian mothers bring alone to Sofumi and they, they do, hmm, like they're sad, <laughs> y'all. It's a wrap. Like, like don't. And then <laughs> now, on, a, on one hand, it's good that I'm, you know, a little tough skin. She is very <laughs> stubborn. Like she is very stubborn. She is very stubborn. Are you not happy she, I was stubborn? Let me finish. Because you got to marry I'm this happy punk you were of a man. stubborn then, but like he still brings that stubbornness. To <laughs> okay. So even though I was strong girl, right? I, I wouldn't lie. It was very nerve wracking for me. Because in my head, I was really, I really took what they said seriously. Yes, I know this is the right person for me. This is the person I want. Mm -hmm. But what happens to our kids? Mm -hmm. Do we not have kids? Do we adopt? Do we go through some medical procedure? Mm -hmm. It was a very challenging process for me. And then having my aunties, my uncles, Everybody. my mom, my dad, my sister, my sisters. I mean, the only two people that kind of, you know, helped were my brother-in-laws. And they were like, yo, bro, man. I know you like this girl, like, if this is what you want, this is just between you and I, think about it, and if this is what you want, just convince your parents, but try to not let it affect the relationship between you and your family. Because it got to a point where my parents and my sister saw me as so strong-willed that, that they felt like I was just kind of cutting them off. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't necessarily trying to do that, but I was trying to explain to them that I understand, but I'm still not changing my mind. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I remember 
I prayed a lot then. Yo. I prayed. We, we went to our pastor, lot. right? Yeah, we did go to Pastor Tola. He what was, did he say? He gave really great advice. I felt sorry for him. Like, being a pastor is not easy. Oh, my. <laughs> being a pastor is not easy. Because what was he supposed to tell us? Don't marry or marry. And then yeah. we have a child who's sick. Like, so what he said was, like, we should go and fast for 40 days. Don't pastor talk to each other. Like, he was like, oh, this is tough. Mm. This is tough. <laughs> this is tough. This is this is very tough. And then he was like, "Yeah, why don't you why don't you seek the face of God? What is God saying to but you?" Like through that process, right? God still gave me Bible verses that confirm that you know you guys are in my will. This you, like there's nothing wrong. There's nothing beyond God's power. And so I was like, okay, well, we've done this. Like, what else? I can't change a human's mind. Mm. I'm just going to insist on what I, I want. I also remember during that period that you lost your job in New York. Like, when we got connected afterwards, you were telling me you lost your job. I literally wanted to, like, I was, like, bawling tears. Like, are you kidding me? You lost your job and you couldn't just pick up the phone to tell me that you lost your job? Like, yeah, that was that's hard. True. That's yeah. true. Well... After that process, after the fasting, after hearing from God, you know, we decided, okay, this is what we want. Now, the battle was convincing parents. Her parents were fine. Yeah. My parents were the challenge, right? I explained how they came over and all that. But eventually, I was like, okay, this is what I want. You guys can either accept it or you don't accept it. I'm not going to go and marry behind your back. And I want your blessings. Mm -hmm. But still, if you don't give me your blessings by this time, right? It, like, you, you don't forced me in a sense. I mean, I didn't say it in that way, but that was what they were reading from my attitude. Um, it was a tough time because I'll say it really strained the relationship between me and my parents at that time and even my siblings. Mm -hmm. um, but I kept letting them know that I'm not trying to dishonor you and I still want your blessings, right? You know, it's the right thing to do. But I also want you to know that I have decided this is the right thing for me. Mm -hmm. I'll take the right precautions when we get married. Mm -hmm. But you cannot force me to say this is not the person I'll be with. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I'll say for anybody that is it's in that a situation, it's a very tough thing to be. Yeah. If you're convinced that this is the right person for you and that you want to go, like you're willing to cross heaven and earth and like fight the dragons and <laughs> slay the monsters because of this person, yeah. I think it's worth fighting for. Mm. Because the fact is that there are, med there are medical ways to prevent a child having SS. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot more complex, don't get me wrong, and it's not easy. It's definitely a tough decision to make. Um, and it's something that you want God to tell you what to do. Yeah. And in addition to that, you're going to have to want to... Um, triple and double and quadruple dose on the birth control because you can't leave it to chance you cannot leave it to chance like yeah. there's you could literally have a child with sickle cell and you don't want to gosh it's not it's not a good thing i'll tell you that much and people yeah. who are dealing with sickle cell can tell you that it's not it's not a good thing and sickle cell is what one thing that we know there's so many genetic diseases out That's there true. man i would even say like if you're dating about to be married or engaged or whatever like just go do some genetic testing like go figure out where you guys are <laughs> where you guys both have like issues and see how you can navigate around it. at least be aware before you start to try to have kids like that is so important you don't want to leave it to chance for our daughter how was how she born did we, so, did we leave it to chance I, I would say this before we got married is like I mean we did think about yes we, you know we, we felt at peace with that decision from God but we also um, had to think about what is our plan for having kids like one is we don't have kids at all the marriage is still valid. Like the fact that people think marriage, children, like there are actually people who are married that do not want to have kids and that's okay. And if they're heirs and heirs and they don't want to have kids and they want to do the vasectomy as soon as they get married or whatever, <laughs> like, hello, like... Uh, and for those that want to have kids, right? Yes. The, uh, their solutions, we considered adoption. It was a valid, valid option. American adoption process is so complicated. So that was one reason we did not go yeah. down that path. Yeah. But if it was possible, if it was affordable or easy for yeah. us to do, we very likely would have done that. I would have loved to adopt, and it's still an option for me, to be honest, to adopt a child from Nigeria. Yeah. Don't ask me why, but that's just the way my heart is. Yeah. Um, love, 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 love. I would like to bring home a child um, from Nigeria. Three is we go through, we do an IVF process where they do a genetic testing of the embryo, figure out if the embryo has the sickle cell disease, and if not, they don't implant 
implants that embryo into me. Um, but if, so you know, I know for some people that can raise some challenges, right? Thankfully, the embryo they tested was good. So, but for some people, you can raise some eth ethical challenges because yeah. then, what if the embryo has the trait? What what happens? Mm -hmm. It's a it's a tough one to yeah. answer, right? Like because you know the Bible says that I. Yeah, it's a tough one it's to ask. It's ethics. Answer. Ethics definitely comes like, into it, and you have to think about it. And so these are a lot of things we thought about, um, yeah. and and at some point you have to balance it. That is this person worth going through all these challenges for? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is yes, mm -hmm. then know what you're going into. Mm -hmm. If the answer is no, then maybe you yeah. decide that I really love you. We can be best friends. Best friends always have to get married. I don't know what I would have done though. That would have been so weird though. Like, imagine like I'll see her. you and be like, yeah, so hello, sir. Like, like, I feel like if I had seen her on the street, I would probably still have gone to give, try to hug her and kiss her. Nah, yeah, I would be like, like oh. I don't know. I'm just glad because. <laughs> that would have been very, very, very weird because we're yeah. just too close. Um, but no, well, another I thing I would say. Oh, sorry. About um, the IVF PG thing is the um, the the money. Like it's expensive, oh, so yeah. that's some definitely something else to consider. So if all of these, you know, you're like, okay, yes, I want children. Um, no, I don't want to adopt. Not that I have anything against it. It's just not for me. And then number three is, where am I going to find twenty thousand dollars from to do a whole IVF PGG process? Like I don't have that kind of money. And then you can just be like, you know what? Well, um, yeah partner this is not you know this is not my ordeal i'm gonna go find someone else or you can get a really good insurance you can go work with a company like google or microsoft True. and they give you like cover True. your insurance 100 yeah, percent but those i'm nigeria, just giving you tricks you know <laughs> for people in nigeria it's a bit more complicated i don't even yeah. know what the you know if that process if they do it i'm sure they do it yeah i'm sure they yeah. do it in nigeria so um i'd love to know you guys opinions and thoughts like are you in that situation do you know someone in that situation or are you, what would you do? Yeah, what would you do? That That's a question, right? I, yeah, I would say that I would much rather. I think I'm gonna shake a lot of tables, but I think that in general, us Nigerians like glorify having children over anything else. Yeah. Like it's like. Oh, this one has not had this a person child. This person hasn't had a child. Yeah, like I mean. Yeah, but they're still living their lives. Like, yes, they're praying to God for a child, but it's not, it's not an ailment. Like, it's not a, it's not like, I don't know, like there's this stigma around it. Like, yeah. it's like just such an unfortunate situation. Mm -hmm. But I think that I personally would be much rather, would be much happier um, married to him without any kids than married to some random guy who like I'm patch patch like the marriage is patch patch I'm managing it but then I have kids yeah you know I have four children four boys like <laughs> like okay kids yeah, can be adopted like yes you kids are a blessing from God but like if I'm not happy in the marriage itself that is for lifetime geez no I ain't getting my kids <laughs> so in other words you're telling me you're happy with me eh I'm happy mm. I'm, I mean to be honest like every day I thank God like I just think God that you know he honored us really like he just really blessed us with healthy children because like imagine if the story was not this way That's like true. God really favored us like favor is really there's a lot of favor in this like imagine if our children were sick like that would put such a huge strain on our relationship like all this dancing around that we're doing all the time like I don't even know if it would be there because it's just such you know it's such a pain and a strain so I yeah. feel like God just really favored us and I'm eternally grateful to God for that like I can't yeah. even say and that's why I started this video by saying i'm not gonna sit here and tell other as as couples to go get married like that is between you and god i'm just sharing our story and our experience and you know this is where we are today yeah so i hope this has been great uh useful for you guys um or someone you know you can share this with yeah, anyone you know that may have this challenge and uh yeah <laughs> all right with that said we this promised you so we're going to dance did we oh uh, yeah that was you yeah do your dance for them twerk twerk no don't